Welcome to the LinenTablecloth.com Event Layout Planner. The first thing you'll want to do is enter the room dimensions of the event facility you'll be using. For this video, I'll be using the dimensions of a banquet facility in Granada Hills, California, managed by Belladonna Catering. This room measures 80 feet long by 60 feet wide, so I'll enter those numbers into the room dimensions box. Then click the mouse anywhere on the screen and the room size will update. FYI, each little square in the room grid equals one square foot. Obviously, you'll want to enter the dimensions of the room you'll be using. Now when I plan out a room setup, I like to start with labeling all the specifics of the room, the entrances and exits, the stage, dance floor, etc. So I'm going to add a few text boxes starting with the entrances. I click the word text in the objects bar, drag the text onto the room grid, and then type the word entrance. I hit enter, which closes the text box, then I drag the text where I want it. To. I can also rotate this text box if need be by rolling the mouse over the little lollipop stick above it until rotational arrows appear. I then click on the rotational arrows and drag the mouse around to spin the text to the direction I want it to read. I continue adding text blocks until I've labeled all the important areas of the room, the doors, dance floor, terrace, stage, etc. Not every banquet facility is a square or a rectangle, and neither is this facility. So I figured out a way to draw walls by using the freeform text object. I just typed underlined dashes. This created straight lines that I can drag around and rotate in the direction needed. I also typed dashes to draw lines representing stairs. Remember, the event planning tool room grid is one foot per square, so try to place objects in the correct relative locations. Next, I'm going to add all of my non-guest tables. This will give me an idea of the traffic flow plan of the room and allow me to later space my guest tables if effectively. For this room, I'll start with the gift table using a six foot table from the objects toolbar. I just drag and drop to the appropriate location of the room, type in a label, rotate it, and drag it to its final locale. I'll add other non-guest tables until I've got the rough layout of the room established. For this venue, I'll be adding bar tables, buffet tables, a cake gazebo, head tables, etc. Now I can feel the room plan starting to come together. I'm going to start adding guest tables. I've been to Lee Hall in Granada Hills before, so I know they have 60 inch tables. If my party is a full sit down service event, then I'll place just eight guests around my 60 inch round tables. But since my party will be a buffet instead of a sit down food service, my table settings won't be as complicated. So I'll be able to fit 10 guests per table. As I drag 60 inch round tables into the room, I'm going to type a number on each table's text box. Later, I can use these table numbers and their placement in the room to help me compile my guest list and seating chart. Another FYI, the tables with chair objects are built to the correct space they take up, but the chairs are arranged in their pulled out position around the table to help you space them correctly. For a 60 inch round table, you'd never want to space 60 inch tables any closer than 10 feet on center, since doing so will make your guest seating very cramped. The party I'm planning will have approximately 200 guests. I continue adding guest tables until I've reached that number. As I add tables, glance at the stats box on the left side of the screen and you'll see my guest count increasing. One note, this planning tool will not allow me to put chairs on just one side of a rectangular table, so I'll have to remember to add 10 additional guests to my count since the bridal party will be sitting at the head table. This tool will not include them in the stats chair count. So now I got the layout of the room pretty much completed. At this point, I may move tables around, consult the caterer, the facilities manager, and then rearrange the room quite a bit until everyone is happy with it. In the meantime, I can print it out on paper and get the layout to anyone who needs it. Hope you find this event planning tool useful, and thanks for visiting linentablecloth.com.